Oh, we are so excited for all of you and so proud of all of you. Um, one of my very favorite things about being a kindergarten teacher is the fact that I get to meet you when you're itty bitties and then watch you grow and change and learn um, over the years and your time at Poplar Bridge. And by the time you're a fifth grader um, and our patrols and we just feel so proud of all the growth that you've made. Um, then we have to say goodbye, but we're so proud of what you have learned at Poplar Bridge and we just know that you're um, ready to soar. So all of our best to you. Please come back and visit us. I know that this year is looking very different and that you are probably grieving some of the normal traditions and things like that that we do at Poplar Bridge for fifth graders. I am hoping that you use this as a learning opportunity about yourself, that you can do hard things, that you can make good out of a not such great situation, um, and that you will, um, and that you can make a change in the world. Um, and that we all play a part, right? That's such an important message right now. We all have to stick together and do our part. So thank you guys for sharing your, t your lives with us so far. And we really, really, really hope that you come back and visit us. We love to see you come back and visit and talk about how small the chairs are or how um, you, know, you feel so big now compared to when you were at Poplar Bridge. So... We'd really love to see you again over the years. Um, please be in touch, and we are wishing you all of our very best with our whole hearts. Congratulations. Hey, fifth graders. Good luck to you as you move on to middle school next year. You are going to be amazing. We are so proud of you and all you've accomplished at Poplar Bridge. We're going to miss you. Congratulations, fifth graders. A special shout out to those of you that I had as first graders. I can't believe you are already graduating and on to fifth grade. And a special thank you to Kate and Jacob, who were my fifth grade um, helpers this year at the end of the school day. I could not have done it without you. There were many days that we were rushed to get out in the hallway at the end of the day. And thanks to you, you helped kids put away, pack up backpacks, and get out the door. So thank you for all of your help. And to all of you, um, I wish you the very best in middle school and beyond. And always dream big and believe in yourself. I know you can do it and will go on to do many amazing things. Best of luck. Hey Poplar Bridge fifth graders, I wanted to wish you good luck next year in middle school. I know you all will do awesome. And I hope that if you are ever around Poplar Bridge, you stop in to say hello. If you're tossing and you're turning and you just can't fall asleep, I'll sing a song beside you. And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me, every day I will. You. Oh, find out what we're made of when we are called to help our friends in need. You can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two, and you'll be are supposed to do again. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hi 
my fifth grade friends. I just wanted to send you a message of love and kindness and hope and to tell you that you are going to be so very missed and you are going to be amazing in middle school. And I love it that I know so many of you and I'm so confident that you are going to be amazing middle schoolers. I know you guys have always watched out and kind of protected our second grade friends this year during re recess time because I know you overlapped a little bit and it just means so very much that you are always looking out for the younger kiddos at PB. So thank you again for all that you've done for Poplar Bridge. We are really going to miss you and send you so much love. And please don't forget to stop in and say hi if you're ever back at PB visiting. So have a wonderful summer. We love you and good luck in middle school. Hi guys, I just want to say congratulations. I'm going to miss you very much. Come back to visit so I can give you a hug sometime. Keep smiling and keep shining. Hello, fifth grade class of 2020. I am so excited for you and so proud of you. And I can imagine that the end of this school year is very different from what you expected it to be or how you anticipated it to be and very different from what you have experienced with the fifth grade classes that came before you. But I hope that it has taught you that you can do hard things and persevere. And I hope that you have been able to find happiness and joy in not only the beginning part of your school year when we were at Poplar Bridge, but also these last few weeks. I have truly enjoyed getting to know so many of you since the time you were a kindergarten smarty so many years ago, although it feels like not very long ago at all. The years go so fast. Um, being able to watch you grow and see you all of the years at Poplar Bridge and to get to know so many of you as a fifth grade patrol has been really awesome. We are so grateful for all of the help with the patrolling. You truly make a difference in the lives of our kindergartners and help to make sure that they are happy and comfortable and confident and um, having a connection with the fifth grader is really special to them. So thank you for keeping them safe and thank you for being a great person and a friend to them. On to middle school you go. You are going to do great things. You are going to be amazing and we are going to miss you very, very much at Poplar Bridge. We wish you well. We hope to see you again. Please feel free to stop by and visit. Um, PB is always going to be your home. Take care, have a wonderful summer, and celebrate all of your accomplishments and successes. We'll miss you. Bye-bye. the way you had planned to leave Poplar Bridge, but it's a great lesson in life that things don't always go as planned. I want to leave you with a few words of advice as you move on to middle school. First of all, you are going to do great in middle school. And second of all, here are some things I want you to always remember. First is to be kind. Second is to have fun. And third is to be you. You might remember the video that we watched back in third grade, or I think it's been shown maybe other times, uh, called Soy Yo, and it's all about being yourself. So that's really important as you continue on your educational journey. Bye.
Hi fifth graders, it's Mrs. A from Strive. I just wanted to say congratulations on being done with fifth grade, you did it. Special shout outs to our fifth grade helpers this year, Grace, Cherish, Makawi, Natalie, Addison, and Darina. We appreciate you so much and thank you to all the others who stopped in to help as well. A special, special shout out to Melina who is our graduating fifth grader. We will miss you and good luck all of you in middle school. Bye. Hello fifth graders. Congratulations. You've done it. I wrote you a little rap to send you off to middle school. I'm not a rapper, but I'm going to try my best. Here it goes. I think you're awesome. I think you're cool. I wish that I could see you at school, but here we are. We can't go back there. So I'm sending you congrats and a form that's more rare. You're gonna do great in middle school. Work hard, be kind, you're tough, keep that in mind. We sure will miss you and we hope you'll come back. We've loved you all along and we know you'll stay on track. Way to go guys, we're so proud of you and we miss you so much. Have a great summer and enjoy middle school. What's up fifth grade class of 2020? I wish you the best of luck in the near future in your endeavors and I hope all of you come back and see me and all of us at Papa Bridge. Take care, stay safe, stay healthy, and take time to be creative. Love, Mr. Watt. You're broken down and tired Of living life on the merry-go-round And you can't find a fighter But I see it in you, so we gon' walk it out Ooh. We gon' walk it out and move on days And I'll rise up, I'll rise like the day I rise up, I'll rise unafraid I'll rise up, and I'll do it a thousand times again And I'll rise Hey, hey, polar bears. This is Mrs. Dvorak. I am so proud of you. As you complete your elementary school years, please know that I hope you stay in touch. Great things lie ahead, and I can't wait to hear about all of the wonderful things that are happening in your life. Hey, fifth graders. Yay! Happy graduation. Mrs. Volbrecht here. Um, I am so proud of all of you, and I can't believe it's already time for you to go to middle school. I feel like you were just in my classroom like yesterday. Like, you were babies. Babies! Um, you all have a lot to be proud of. You have worked so hard and you have so many memories and I want you to know that when you go to middle school just remember you can do hard things and you can persevere and push through and when there are obstacles that face you just lean on each other and take care of each other um, make some new friends keep the old ones read lots of books do lots of amazing things step out of your comfort zone if you think eh, I don't know if I want to do that go do it say yes Okay, and try it. Um, you all are going to do amazingly wonderful things. I will miss you terribly. I cannot wait to hear about all of the adventures that you have. I hope that you have a wonderful summer and that you go to middle school next year feeling brave and confident and remember that we at Poplar Bridge, we know you've got the stuff. We know you've got the skills. So you go in there with your head high and be brave and you'll do great stuff. Okay, I love you and I miss you and I can't wait to hear about all the amazingness that you'll do. Okay, bye. Hello, fifth graders. What an exciting, special, wonderful, happy, maybe even a little sad um, time for you guys to be preparing for middle school. There's some things that are strange about right now, but also some things that are so great. And one thing is that we have so many fun memories of you from Poplar Bridge. To my fifth grade patrols, all of the fifth grade patrols, but especially those that came to room 13, thank you for being so responsible, friendly, kind, 
um, and wonderful. The kindergartners really looked up to you and I was so appreciative of your help. Um, to all of the fifth graders, good luck in middle school. You are going to do amazing things because you are prepared and you are kind and you are hardworking and um, you are amazing. Good luck. Hi fifth grade, congratulations on your fifth grade graduation. You've worked so hard. I can't wait to see what the future brings for you. Come back and visit. But I promise we would take the world to its feet. Move, I won't dance. Bring it to its feet. Move, I won't dance. And I'll rise up. I'll rise like the day. I'll rise up. I'll rise unafraid. I'll rise up. And I'll Hey PB, fifth graders, Mr. Nagin here. First thing I want to do is just say how much of a pleasure it's been the last up to six years for some of you to be your physical education teacher. Got to know quite a few of you and I am going to really miss you. Um, just wanted to let you know that I know you're all going to do great things. I'm proud to know all of you. And I would appreciate in the future, if you get a chance, stop by, say hi, and uh, just keep doing what you're doing. You're all amazing. I know it's been a weird year, and obviously we're not going to be able to finish out the way we wanted to, but uh, I know a lot of great things are ahead of all of you, and just continue to dream on and do whatever it is you would like to do. And Mr. Dagan has always got your back. So, um, like I said, it's been a pleasure to be your teacher. We are going to miss you. You've left the legacy at Poplar Bridge that uh, um, I'm just proud to know you. So um, I wish you all the best. Congrats on graduating and uh, good luck in middle school. We'll see you around. Thank you. Hi, fifth graders. I feel especially close to your class because some of you were in my first second grade class at Poplar Bridge. And that makes me feel so excited for you to be moving on to middle school. You are all wonderful kids and you are so special in each and every way. And good luck, I know that you are going to have a successful and bright future. Hi hey team, it's Mrs. Steffes. Um, just wanted to say how happy I am for you as you are wrapping up your fifth grade year. And even though it's not in the way that we all hoped and that this is the way you're getting the clap out, I want you to know that you are still in our minds and our hearts um, as we travel through this end of the year with you. And I want you to also know how proud we are, genuinely proud of the people that you have become two years ago now when you came into our classrooms um, I've just gotten to know you and watch you grow and it's been an amazing experience for me to see how far you have come in the two years um, since I was your teacher and it's amazing to see um, all of the growth that you've had and to know that you have so much in front of you and I can't wait to see where your journey takes each and every one of you. I want you to remember even when things get really hard in school and you're challenged that that means that you're truly learning and that you can do anything that you put your mind to and you just have to be brave and go towards new challenges with fight and determination and know that you're going to be able to do anything you put your mind to. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of the genuinely perfect human beings that you've become. Um, you're kind and caring and thoughtful. You look out for each other and others, and especially the littles. I watch as you are patrolling and taking care of the others that are younger than you, and it's so impressive to see the great human beings that you have become. 
and you're fun and I love to see you in the hallways and so please make sure that you come back and visit us um, we'll always be here for you so if you need anything or anyone just know that we are always just a few a short drive away good luck in your futures at whichever middle schools you end up at and um, just strive for the best team take care we'll miss you hi fifth graders it's mrs. Parsons I just wanted to congratulate you and I wanted to wish you well in middle school. Take care. Bye bye. fifth graders, congratulations on completing your fifth grade year. To those of you that were kindergarten patrols, thank you so much for making sure our kindergartners got to and from where they needed to go safely each day. I know they really looked up to you and the kindergarten teachers really, really appreciated that you were able to do that for us. You did a great job. And to all of you, I wish you the best of luck in middle school. Hey fifth graders, congratulations, you made it. I have loved seeing the people that you have become over the years. You've all changed so much since first grade. I'm gonna miss you next year, but I know that you are on to great things. Remember to reach for the moon. Even if you miss, you'll land among the stars. Hey fifth graders, it's Mrs. Morozik here. I just wanted to wish you a great big congratulations on graduating from fifth grade and graduating from Poplar Bridge. If you started at Papa Bridge in kindergarten, you started the same time I did. Um, the first time I was a teacher at Poplar Bridge. Um, and I know that I've learned a ton and grown a ton in my years there. And I know you have too, and you are so ready for middle school. Um, all of the teachers and staff at Poplar Bridge have just all like poured their love and their heart into you and you are ready. You can do anything that's ahead of you. So my advice, because teachers love to give advice, um, for you in middle school is to do your best, make every day count, and most of all just shine the best you out every single day and you're gonna be amazing. Have a wonderful summer and here's your clap out. Bye. I am not a stranger to the dark. Hide away, they say, because we don't want your broken parts. I learned to be ashamed of all my scars. Run away, they say, no one will love you as you are. But I won't let them break me down to dust I know that there's a place for us For we are glorious When the sharpest words wanna cut me down 
I'm gonna send a flood, gonna drown a mound. I am brave, I am bruised, I am who I'm meant to be. This is me. Look out, cause here I come. And I'm marching on to the beat I drum. I'm not scared to be seen. Hi, fifth graders. It's Mrs. Blondes, second grade teacher. I just wanted to reach out and say how proud I am of each and every one of you for graduating fifth grade. You are continued to work so hard through elementary school and now you're off to middle school. I know you'll do great things. Please don't forget to come back and visit me and the rest of the teachers at Poplar Bridge because we will miss you very much. Here is my goodbye clap out to you. Congratulations, and I will see you soon. Bye. Hello, Poplar Bridge, fifth grade class of 2020. I just wanted to say that I hope you guys all have a great summer and good luck at middle school and the years beyond. This will definitely be a year for you to remember. Take care, stay healthy, and stay well. Bye-bye. <laughs> Congratulations, fifth grade class of 2020. I've spent the last week or so looking back at your music performances from kindergarten all the way to fifth grade. Um, I've known some of you since you were really, really little and some I've just gotten to know this year. But I have to say that this has truly been one of the most amazing fifth grade classes at Poplar Bridge. You have shown kindness. You have shown excitement for learning. You have been fun. To have in school and I can't wait to see what you do next year in middle school and beyond. I know you're going to do amazing things and I can't wa wait to watch you grow. So kudos to you fifth grade class and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Hi fifth graders, it's Mrs. Zanius, first grade teacher. I just wanted to say congratulations to all of you on your graduation and I want to wish you well in middle school. You will all do wonderfully. Graders, I didn't get a chance to teach any one of you, but here's some words of advice. Enjoy your summer. You have worked so hard for it. Know that middle school is tough, but what you can do is grab your friends, bring them in, and make a solid pack to stick together. Finish your homework, advocate for your own learning in middle school, and tell your teachers if you need help. Anyways, congratulations and here's to an awesome future. Hi 
fifth graders. I just wanted to say congratulations on finishing fifth grade. It's been so great to get to see you guys grow from kindergarten all the way to fifth grade. You guys have grown so much and learned so much in your time at Poplar Bridge. I hope you come back and visit us. We would love to see you. Congratulations and have a wonderful summer. See you soon. Hi, fifth graders. I just want to say congratulations and way to go. You've accomplished a big thing. You're moving from Poplar Bridge up to middle school, and that's really great. But I also want to say that I'm going to miss you, and I think I'm going to miss you more than any fifth grade class I've ever known. Partly because my first year at Poplar Bridge was your first year at Poplar Bridge. And in these last five or six years, we have learned so much together. I've been trying to learn how to be a teacher, and I have to thank you so much for helping me. But you've been learning thousands and thousands of things, and there are, I can't even begin to count what you've done. So as you leave, I want to tell you the one thing that I think I've noticed the most about this fifth grade class than any other fifth grade class I've known. You are kind. You are the kindest group of fifth graders I've ever known, and that makes me feel so happy for the world that you're moving on and spreading that kindness wherever you go. So as your science teacher, I want to tell you always stay curious, but as a person in the world, I want to say stay kind, okay? And also don't forget, oh, do I hear a chickadee? Yeah, don't forget to stop and listen every once in a while, okay? Congratulations. Bye-bye. Hello fifth graders, this is Principal Cantu and I want to send you a final uh, well wishes. This is not the way I had hoped to do it, but unfortunately due to the circumstances, uh, you have to have a virtual goodbye. So with that being said, uh, traditionally I would host you all in the gym and we'd gather with your family members. And I would say in the room, if you could all turn and stand and give a round of applause for your parents and your family members that are in the audience, because they will always be your first teachers. And I think it's important that we recognize the great work that they've done to raise you to this point uh, and as you exit fifth grade and up your elementary years. We also want to thank your teachers. This is Funko. And Mrs. F, who did a fantastic job coming in and finishing out the year, as well as Mrs. Cobold and Mr. Marone. So let's not forget the great work all four of your teachers did this year. So as we go on, I want to remind you all that next year is a big year, right? You transition to middle school. And that's a big transition for many of you. But here's some things that I want to mention. During my time as principal at Poplar Bridge, you all taught me something too. You taught me how to be principal. You all were in kindergarten when I first came over at Poplar Bridge from Valley Elementary. And I remember all, each of you welcomed me with open arms and had lots of questions for me, but I loved it. And I had the opportunity to watch you all grow as you went up through the years. And I know some of you came in a little bit later, and we've had some friends that have left us before reaching fifth grade, but 
in the end, we've had a great, great time, and I truly enjoyed being the principal. So what I want you to do is think about next year and think about entering fifth grade. Uh, you will have teachers that will be looking after you and making sure that you are transitioning into the middle school as best as possible. So lean on them. They will help you. And don't forget about the friends that you may hear at Pop of the Bridge. And also, don't be afraid to meet some new friends. The beauty of middle school is you get to come together with students from all of the elementary schools, which is really cool. We have um, really enjoyed watching you all grow up and following our, our four birds from PBS, being safe, kind, respectful, and responsible. And we feel that those traits have allowed you to go into young citizens, and we hope that you take those characteristics on to middle school and continue to grow. So here, um, seven years from now, I expect you all to be walking across a very similar stage. Hopefully it's not perfect, and hopefully it's getting the next work plan. And I, I'd love to be there for that, because I believe in every one of you. And I believe you can be and do whatever you put your mind to. So continue to dream big and think big, because you all can do it. I want to leave you with one last quote from one of my favorite authors, Maya Angelou, and here's what she has to say. I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. So I wish you all a safe and fun summer, and congratulations. Take care. It was so much fun to help create this video and to see all of the memories and well wishes and words of encouragement that the Poplar Bridge teachers and staff have for all of you. Um, you should feel so proud and so special to have such an amazing support system behind you as you enter middle school. I know that this is not how we anticipated ending the year together, but we had such an amazing year. Of course, we have to have a memorable send off with this video. Um, just to see your kindergarten picture and then your fifth grade picture. You have all grown up so much since kindergarten, but you have all grown up so much since the beginning of fifth grade as well. You guys are gonna do amazing in middle school and just know that you can always reach out to any of the Poplar Bridge staff if things ever get harder, if you miss us, or if you just wanna check in and say hi. Everyone would love to hear from you and we are so excited to see what your next adventure holds. Hey there, awesome fifth graders. What a year it's been, right? Crazy. I wanted to let you know that I am so honored that I got to teach all of you this year and watch you learn and grow. I know this is not how we expected our year to end, and I wanted to thank you all for being so patient, understanding, flexible, and doing your best. It really helped make the fifth grade teacher's jobs a lot 
this year. I personally wanted to thank you all for making my first year at Papa Bridge such a fantastic one. We had a wonderful adventure together and I want you to know that all of you and our memories are gonna hold a very special place in my heart. I wish you all the best in middle school. You will all be awesome. Just remember to believe in yourselves. You are capable of more than you think. Also, please remember that we're still here for you. Just because you've left the school doesn't mean we are done. We are still here for you, so reach out, stay in touch, come visit, all that great stuff. And then I wanted to share some advice with you, and that advice is to dream, try, and do good. The world is yours. Now all you have to do is take it. See you guys around. Happy graduation, fifth graders. Mr. Merlin here, leaving you with four important points that I want you to, to remember. The first one, find balance in your life. It's not always about academics. It can be um, sports. It can be the activities that you do in your life. Work to find balance. Number two, build healthy relationships. Some of you did a great job building relationships with your classroom teachers. You did a great job building relationships with different friends and different adults in the building. Number three, always work hard and have a growth mindset. And number four, I think the most important thing is make sure that you cherish your family, especially in this time of quarantine and staying home and sickness and negative things on the news. I want you to know that you can always count on your family. I had a great school year. I enjoyed working with each and every one of you. I enjoyed building a relationship with you. I uh, love working together with the other classroom teachers and the other adults in the building and your parents. And I just hope that you can have a great summer and to find some excitement in your life and some peace as well. It was a great school year. Thank you for making it great. Hi, fifth grade, happy graduation. I couldn't let you graduate without doing the story time rhyme one more time. So if you wanna say it along with me and do the actions, go for it. I wiggle my fingers, I wiggle my toes, I wiggle my shoulders, I wiggle my nose. Now the wiggles are all out of me. I'm ready to listen quietly. And of course, I need to read you a goodbye book. And the book that I've selected um, is called Walk On, A Guide for Babies of All Ages. You might be thinking, what, you're reading us a baby book? It is not a baby book. It has a lot of symbolism in it. So as I read, I know you know what similes and metaphors are. So look for that deeper meaning as we go along. And don't forget to laugh a little too. I don't have this book at home, so I had to find it on YouTube, and I'm going to voice over. <laughs> so it's the best we can do here. Walk On, A Guide for Babies of All Ages, written by Marla Frazee. Is sitting there on your bottom getting boring? Has lying around all the time become entirely unacceptable? It is time to learn how to walk. The first thing you've got to do is stand on your own two feet. It sounds easier than it is. You will need support. This is tricky because sometimes what you think will support you won't. Be careful of things that are wobbly. You don't want anything to fall on top of you. And stay away from fragile stuff too. You don't need something new to cry about. Now, get a grip, pull yourself up, stand. Are your knees buckling? That's okay, straighten up. See how different everything looks from here? Find your balance. It may take some time. Remember to breathe. Feel the sway, but don't let it tip you over. When you think you've got it, let go. Oops, it 
is very common to fall down. Hey, that's okay. Go ahead and cry if it helps. You feel better now? You can try again, but first run down the checklist. Are your socks bunching up? Are your shoes too tight or too loose? Is your diaper weighing you down? Fix whatever you can before you start over. Once you can stand up without holding on to anything, get ready to take that first step. Make sure the path ahead of you is clear. You don't want any obstacles blocking your way or any rough patches tripping you up. Block out all those voices saying, come on, come on, it's easy. What are you waiting for? Let's go already. Don't just stand there. This is boring. You can do it now. Don't be scared, go. Only begin when you are ready. Important, don't look down at your feet. Look toward where you want to go. Imagine yourself already there. Then when the time is right for you, take the first step and another and another. It gets easier, huh? Baby, you are walking. Beautiful. All right. So fifth grade, I wanted to share that book with you because it has such a great message. You are embarking on a new chapter of your life. Fifth grade going on to the um, to middle school. I wanted to leave you with a couple quotes about reading. Reading gives us some place to go when we have to stay where we are. And definitely we've had a taste of this lately. So I hope that you all are still reading and connecting with books. And finally, the more that you read, the more things you will know. The more that you learn, the more places you'll go. So I wish you all the best as you head off to this new chapter in your life called middle school. Stay in touch, friends. Take care. I got, I got, I got.